In this video, I'm gonna show you five tips to writing your book in Google Docs. This is really gonna make it feel a little bit more bookish and a little less like a word processor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to format my text. If you have text in your Word document, you are gonna to have to select everything first. If you don't have anything in your Word document, you don't need to worry about doing that. So I'm gonna select text and then I'm gonna go up to format and line and paragraph spacing. And I like a little bit of space. So I'm going to add a space after each paragraph. And this just kind of breaks things up. I really like the visual breakage. <laughs> that kind of helps me learn about like the pacing of my story. So that's the first thing I really like to do. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to align and indent. And this is going to automatically make it so that the paragraph, the first line is gonna indent like it would in a book and go to indentation options. And we only want the first line. So select first line under special indent. Personally, I like 0.25 or 0.3. So I'm gonna select that and it automatically takes into effect. And then if you add a new line, Typey, 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 we're so fast, we're so fast. You can see that it just does it for the first line and everything else stays in the paragraph format. And if I tab down to the next one, it's gonna do the same thing. My second tip is using the outline. And if the outline view isn't showing up on yours like it is, this is this little sidebar right here. You can just go to view, show outline, and that will turn on that option for you. Now what this is gonna do, this is gonna blow your mind. I didn't like Google Drive until I figured out how to do this. And then I was okay with it. And then I really liked it. So I'm gonna select my chapter headings and I'm gonna click up here by normal text and the style and I'm gonna select heading. And then this is automatically going to put all of my chapter headings right here. And I'm gonna scroll down so I can show you what it looks like with multiples. Just select, go to heading, scroll down. I'm gonna pick my third one that I have in here, heading, apply that. And if you click on these, it's gonna immediately jump to that chapter. This is a game changer. I really did not like scrolling. Even if I was writing a short story in here, it just, it was maddening. You can indent a little bit more. So let's say I am writing, if I have different scenes and I'm really writing my rough draft here, I can actually use a different heading to make this indent a little bit more so I can sort of make this easier on myself so I can switch from scene one and scene two if I am just kind of filling out things or if I'm outlining, this would really help navigate things a little bit easier. My third tip is a little bit different. This one's definitely something I do in my own personal workflow, so maybe it will help you, but for my outline with my chapter headings, I like to let myself know at what stage or my progress is. So I will actually, if I have a chapter, say that this chapter one is done, it's completely done, I'm happy with it, whatever stage I'm at, rough draft, first round edits, I will actually put a check mark so that will appear in the outline. This lets me know that I am done with that chapter and then I can continue jumping around. I will also do things like add here, and that is for me to know that I need to add a scene. I also will sometimes do rewrite. If I want to rewrite it, sometimes I'll write things in a different point of view, and then I need to write them in a different point of view. So this just helps me kind of know my status since there isn't any, any way like in Scrivener where you can like change it to a different color or put like a, a mark or anything like that. So this is just a way for me to know where I am. It is also really good if you are working on a document with somebody, you can actually know where they're at with the progress. So when I'm working with my editor, I will put a check mark where I'm, where I'm done. So she knows where I am and the status because sometimes the deadline gets a little tight. And that is just one thing that I really like to do. I don't know if that's just me or if that is a new writing tip. Let me know if anyone else does that. So my next step isn't really mind blowing, but it is, it does really help with organizing things. And this is adding page breaks, which if you're just writing in Microsoft Docs, it's a little, it's a little uh, hidden there too. So in Google Docs, if you wanna add a page break at the end of your chapter, 
um, you would just select, I like to select it right before the chapter title because then if you're still working on it, you can actually delete the spaces above it and it's not gonna delete your page break. So I will hit insert, break, and then I will select page break. And then I will have my chapter on a new page and I'm gonna do that for the third one as well. Break, page break. And that is just helping keep my draft a little bit cleaner. And if you can actually do the little bit of formatting in Google Docs, it does make it easier if you're importing it into Vellum or Atticus. My final tip is to use dark mode. And there is a few different ways that you can do this. Um, there are specific plugins for Google Docs, but I actually like a plugin that is called Night Eyes. So I'm gonna go up here just to show you what it looks like and dark mode night eye right here. I'm gonna click on it. It'll bring up this little menu here. And I actually pay for this one because I <laughs> love it. It works on every single page on every single website. And this is just something that I've found over the years that will, it helps my eye strain. And since I stare at the screen pretty much all day, every day, this just really helps save my eyes. That's it for this video. If you liked any of these tips or if you have some tips to add, leave a comment below. And if you are looking for more tips on Google Docs, especially about editing, make sure that you watch this next video with some of my personal tips and editing tricks. And I will see you guys all in the next one.